I was born in Stafford, then spent most of my life in Telford. And yeah, I'd say I think sport was a massive part of my life. My mum said I was walking uh, very early. So yeah, I think uh, I might have been a challenging, uh, energetic child. <laughs> So I moved to Bath, University of Bath, because they had a really good setup with full-time judo training and obviously university. So I did sport and exercise science there, and now I'm currently doing my PGC in mathematics because um, I want to be, after judo, a math teacher. Kind of runs in the family, so didn't really have a choice. My dad teaches at a local school in Wolverhampton, Heath Park, where they have lots of uh, players that went to, or judokas that went to the local judo club and were successful. So Craig Fallon was from there and he went on to become world champion. And um, so obviously we knew it was a really good club. And I went along when I was eight years old and didn't stop going. I obviously a little bit biased, think it's the best sport in the world. And yeah, it's brought me a million great memories. Yeah, definitely. I love fighting, so it's great because it's obviously controlled, there's rules. Um, and yeah, you're not trying to hurt each other, you're trying to throw each other. Um, but you can literally give it your all, both of you, have a really good fight on the mat, and then obviously friends off the mat. So it's just a great release of energy and it's exciting. And obviously throwing is really fun. <laughs> been to two Olympics I went to London and to Tokyo last year and obviously I think for judo the big end goal is always Olympic medal I've got obviously European two European medals I would also really like a, a world world championships medal or a world masters medal but the big aim is always Olympic medal I think that sometimes girls get put off judo because it's a fighting sport whereas actually I think they just need to come along give it a go and they'll realize just like I did that maybe they'll absolutely love it and so I just think yeah give it a go you never know where it'll take you literally you can be one person on the mat and a different person off the mat try it put a judo suit on and like I did, you might never want to take it off. Five hundred percent. To me, I don't know what I would have done without sport. Um, obviously, when I was younger and at school, I tried all sports, all after school clubs. Um, and I'm really lucky that I found judo because actually that was the one that I carried on doing for a long time after school, obviously. Um, but yeah, I just think it's a good way to distract you from anything else or just to burn some energy or to give you the happy hormones that everybody likes obviously so yeah I just think sport is 100% good physically and mentally. Sport is beneficial for everything obviously a massive part of my goals throughout my career so far have been to do well in my sport but even when I was at uni, they were a really good distraction from uni. Like if I came out of an exam, it didn't go very well in uni. I think I remember getting a PB that session, like a personal best. So I actually like lifted more than I'd ever lifted before. Just think it's a really good way of channeling an energy and making friends. Like I've made most of my best friends through judo. I just think everybody needs a bit of that in their life. And it's important to try and prioritize it and make sure you make time for it. A big part of my judo journey has obviously been lots of operations. I've had 10 operations and had to obviously pick myself back up every time. And it can be very mentally challenging. So obviously you find yourself in a really low place after, because you spend so long getting strong, getting fit and doing well at competitions to then be, have that all taken away and you're starting back at the bottom again. But I think even for after judo and after sport, like when I stopped doing it full time, I've learned things that will benefit me forever. So I think I've learned like resilience and I've surprised myself at how much I've been able to get through sometimes. So I just think you never know if you don't try.
So I think people have just got to take some risks sometimes and then hopefully you'll surprise yourself. And I think also it can show you, it'll make you feel grateful for the people around you and it's almost like sometimes obviously lots of people will be there when you do well but then it's when things aren't going so well and you've just had an operation in your hospital bed that that message from someone or whatever you find out who's really close to you and who's going to help you get through the low times as well as the high times like my mum is 100% my biggest fan she'll follow me around the world and I used to think that was like a lot of pressure and I didn't want to disappoint her uh, whereas actually she said to me she wants to be there when I'm not doing well as well for the hug in the toilets when I'm crying um, so yeah just makes you grateful and appreciate those people around you that are going to pick you up. I would definitely say ice cream has helped me. <laughs> I love food, so um, when times have been hard, I remember my coach at Dartford took me to the Hagen Daz cafe and a few of us went there. And sometimes you've just got to accept times aren't great. Like that was after I just found out I had a, I needed a cruciate ligament reconstruction. Um, so you've just got to kind of get through those times and use the people around you that will help you get through those times. And then when you've finished eating the ice cream, obviously then you can, get fit again <laughs> and work towards your goals again. Use the people around you to help you stay on track and I've been fortunate, I've been very lucky with my physios and my doctors that have kept me going and distractions. Also getting a dog, that was a massive thing for me. So after my first um, ACL reconstruction, I got my first dog Roxy. Uh, so even just dog walks, when I was allowed to walk the dog without crutches, um, got me through because it was like a distraction. It gave me something to do when I couldn't be in the gym all day. Uh, so dogs and ice cream, I think. <laughs> Balance I found, especially uh, like at university when uni wasn't doing well, sport could help me. And then having other things as well as just sport. Um, like now, obviously, I'm going back to university so that when judo's not going well, so like I just had a shoulder injury, I've, I'm not left with like nothing to do. I've still got something to brain train <laughs> to keep my head stimulated so I don't start going crazy. Mm -hmm.